appreciate you tuning back in. We got a lot of madness to discuss here. 12 new leaks. Some really nasty cards. A couple reprints. I'm not even going to point them out. But first, I got to say this. I want to thank each and every one of you who watch my channel, whether you're a new subscriber or you've been with me since the beginning. It sincerely means a lot to me. Because without all of you, I couldn't do this. Period. I just, I just couldn't do it. So thank you. It, it means a lot. Anyone who wishes to show further support, there's links in the description of every single video on how to go about that. Let's get into these crazy spoilers. Oh man. Legion War Boss. Good old three drop. Liking the artwork. Now, these leaks, um, they were at a, in, an event. Basically, they were on like a teleprompter. Um, and someone just started taking pictures with their phone. <laughs> so that's how we have all these links right now. Um, that's how we have all these leaks. Legion War Boss. I like the name already. It's a good old three drop of Menor. Mentor, sorry. There's a city by me named Menor. Good old Goblin Soldier. Remember, the new mechanic, whenever this creature attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one red Goblin Creature token. That token gains haste until end of turn and attacks as combat if able. I think I'm starting to like this whole Menor mechanic. I think I really am starting to like this new mechanic. Not bad. When it... uh. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, you get to create that 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token. A little bit of haste. It is a 3-drop. I mean, I'd, I'd still rather run Goblin Chain Whirler. I'm just saying, but every card serves its own purpose. Comparing apples to oranges. Next up, Boros. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Boros is going to be hitting heavy, baby. It's got the Minner mechanic and also... For four, Challenger gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Not bad. It's a deuce three. It's an uncommon. Only a two drop. That's a pretty good two drop, if you ask me. But because it's two colored, that's the reason why. Not bad at all. Necrotic Wound. It's a one drop. Undergrowth. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. If that creature would die this turn, exile instead. Pour some more sugar on me. I do enjoy this. Cool card. Artwork can't really tell too much from it. I mean, we get a little gist of it, but this is definitely going to help. There's a lot of graveyard interaction in this upcoming set, so be prepared. Hello there. I did not draw the heart, but he's uh, easy on the eyes, huh? Good old Ral, is it? Viceroy. Viceroy? Viceroy. Five dropper. Legendary Planeswalker. It's plus one. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Okay. Minus three. It deals damage to target creature equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard. Hello, graveyard. It's minus eight. Those are loyalty counters, in case you guys didn't know, for uh, those who did not. You get an emblem with, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, this emblem deals four damage to any target. And you draw two cards. Ultimates are always just ridiculous. He comes out with five loyalty counters on him. So that's our new Planeswalker. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you guys think? Conclave Tribunal. Four drop enchantment. Convoke. I am so happy Convoke is back. And actually, there's one card we're going to get to. I think it's near the end. Uh, Convoke's going gonna, gonna to Convoke's gonna work beautifully with it. So as you know, Convoke, creatures can help cast this spell. Each creature you tap while casting this spell pays for one or one mana of that creature's color. I'm glad they specified that, because I don't think when Convoke first came out, 
that they actually did specify one mana of that creature's color. It just said the colorless. Hats off, Watsy. When Conclave, Conclave Tribunal enters the battlefield, exile target, not land permanent, and opponent controls until Conclave Tribunal leaves the battlefield. Not bad. But keep in mind, it's a sweet card. I like this. It's a four drop, and uh, it's, a, it's, it's a way for you to exile target nine land permanent for cheaper than what we've been used to. Good card. Underrealm Lick. I always say Lick. Why not? Five drop. Zombie Elf Shaman. How many subtypes do you need here? If you would draw a card... It's, and this is a mythic, by the way. If you would draw a card, instead, look at the top three cards of your library. Then put one into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Pay four life, under own, gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. Oh my gosh. Good card. What's the... Uh, you've, you've strayed over world. Uh, not bad. So much graveyard interaction. I, I, I can't say it enough. Um, I don't. I wasn't a fan of graveyard honestly um, until recent. So I'm pretty excited for this as well. Narcomoba. This is definitely a reprint. Creature illusion. Two dropper flying. When it's put into your hand. I'm sorry. When it's put into your graveyard from your library, you may put it onto the battlefield. <laughs> okay, so this thing's going to be quite difficult to get rid of. If it goes that way, so we'll see how it plays out. Good card, really good. No, it's a sick, stupid card. It's a really, really good card. I think this is a third reprint of it, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe second. Well, hello there. Thought Erosa. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a nine land card from it. That player discards that card. Surveil one. Look at the top card of your library. You may put it into your graveyard. <laughs> so cool. It's like scribe, but you just toss stuff into the graveyard. Really neat. Sinister sabotage. Got a three drop. Counter target spell with surveil one. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Yeah. It's like a cancel, but even better. Man, they're slowly starting to make cards, I think, a tiny bit more powerful. Like, just a, just a smidge. I think they're really starting to come around here. This card, probably my favorite print of of these leaks here. Amara, Soul of the Accord. Sorry, there were 11 leaked cards. Not 12. My apologies. Whenever Amara's Soul of the Accord becomes tapped, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. Keep in mind, not only does attacking cause this creature to tap, but Convoke is going to cause this creature to tap. And then you're creating a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. That's ridiculous. And Commander, just think about all the ways you can tap a creature, untap it, tap a creature, untap it, and just... Pfft, there's ways to make this sucker go infinite. If you guys know the names of the cards, by all means, please list them below. This is the one I'm really pumped about. All right. Quasi-duplicate. Sure, it's a three-drop. Sorcery. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. It's jumpstart ability. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Then exile this card. To jumpstart, new mechanic. I like it. My greatest creation, me. Ugh, what an egotistical jerk. I'm just, I love the flavor text on that. That's really cool. It is a sorcery, though. It's the only downside to this, but. Still not that bad. Creating that token, um, it's a copy of your creature just for three. I mean, it could be anything. It doesn't matter. Oh, so much graveyard interaction. 
Are you guys pumped about the graveyard? Like, is this like, is is this pleasing to you? Uh, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really, really pumped about it. Also coming up, you got to check this out. There is new masterpieces, and they're all planeswalkers. And I got the video. Make sure you guys check that one out. And oh yeah, Shocklands are back. So there's twelve. There's your twelve cards. Shocklands are back as well. Now we have twelve. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, by all means, please, if you enjoy the content, it really helps out if you leave a like. Um, and also, sharing is caring. Don't forget about that. And I like hearing from you in the comments as well. As always, guys, PLA.